and if you want the devil to stop harassing you what do you then do if you submit to God and his word the Bible said be not anxious most of the problem began with anxiety until he graduated to worry then the thought we began to meditate on it but the Bible said in the book of Philippians chapter 4 the Bible said there verse 8 he tells us what not to meditate upon you are not to meditate on anything that is a bad report when you stop meditating on negative things you stop being oppressed by bad reports the Bible said meditate on it if it's of virtue if it is promising think on these things and when you begin to submit yourself you begin to submit yourself to the word of God and obey it so when next an evil thought come you resist it can I hear amen and then the evil thought begin to go in the name of Jesus Christ if you are here and you are struggling with fear James 1 7 tells you what to do fear not how I have not given to you the spirit of fear what God did not give to you don't take it when fear comes say no it's not from you I've given you boldness I've given you sound mind I've given you spirit of love switch immediately to love love switch immediately to a sound mind you will find peace there switch immediately don't entertain what God has not given to you and that is the way to resist the devil as soon as you decide to do what the word of God do and say then you are submitted to God automatically you are resisting the devil is somebody following me is somebody following me so next time that the devil is about to push you to eat what you are not supposed to eat and then you remember what the word of God said I was really thinking about this why because the truth is this Jesus had finished his fast and it was 40 days ended if he ate the bread it was not a sin because he was no longer fasting so eating that bread in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 can you bring out that scripture it was not a sin it was not a sin but the fact that it was the devil speaking Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 it was the devil speaking it was the devil speaking so what did he have to do he had to resist the voice of the devil is somebody following me yes I can eat the bread but not from the hands of the devil when you are submitted to God the devil now came and what was he addressing if you are the son of God the devil was addressing the spirit of what lost how will you resist the devil I cannot come to join issue with you devil I cannot come here to join issue with you why for me to come and show you that I'm a child of God no I'm not going to some of us pride pushes us to go into what we have no business you know touching and God is saying to everybody here no don't do that don't do that don't ever allow the devil to come to the point you want to prove to him that you are what you are by doing what he said you should do so that if you are the son of God jump down no you don't have to hear or entertain the voice of the devil somebody that is how to resist the devil when he said to me it is written he wanted him to know that food was not important you cannot tempt me with food even though I'm hungry I've finished my fasting you don't tell me when to eat devil I know that there are angels watching over me you don't tell me to do what that uh, I should jump that the angels will take care of me devil I won't hear your voice and you won't tell me what to do and Jesus turned again and said you devil I can't bow to you you know many people are bow to the devil and that is the whole secret of ritual killing if you bow to the devil I'll give you money and people are bowed to the devil so he can give them money and some of you are angry with your rich uncles who won't give you the money he has bowed and sold his heart and life and you want to enjoy the money and he looks at you he knows that look you are going to heaven do you know that these men they know where they are going and they know the price they, pay. they can give you money to drink they don't mind they can give you a bottle of champagne of like maybe five hundred thousand because i hear such crazy things exist but they'll never give you money that will make you useful and that is why if you know that you are not interested in bowing to the devil then know that you must do what resist the devil 
take me back again to the word of God in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 and so I'm actually building up this scripture and this word very clearly in our heart it is your season child of God to submit to God so that you can be able to resist the devil can I hear amen the reason why you are hearing voices and there are strange thoughts or strange imagination is that you are not yet fully what submitted to God. Can you pray this prayer this morning? Declare, say, Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I receive the strength today to resist the devil as I submit to God. Pray, ask God, Father, this morning in Jesus' name, give me the capacity, the capacity, give me the capacity to resist the devil so that I can submit to God. Pray that prayer this morning I receive the power and anointing to overcome temptation because what we are talking about is the power and the anointing that brings you to start to overcome temptation the Bible said that we are overcomers we are more than conquerors but all these things are possible as you begin to do what as you begin to resist the devil as you begin to submit yourself to God you begin to do what overcome pray this prayer say father every agenda of wickedness against my destiny every agenda of wickedness against my soul every agenda of wickedness against my family every agenda of wickedness against my life I stand in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to command it to scatter in the name of Jesus now begin to scatter it begin to scatter it whatever are set up from the pit of hell that makes it difficult for you to commune with God that makes it difficult to walk with God scatter it in the name of Jesus therefore scatter it scatter it therefore submit to God resist the devil resist the devil and he will flee resist the devil and he will flee child of God this morning the devil shall flee in Jesus name to resist the devil means to act against the devil to resist the devil means to do what to act against the devil to strike against to oppose to stand against to turn away it means to fight back it means to abide with God it means to abstain from evil and sin it means to antagonize whatever is antagonizing holiness in your life in Jesus name it means to assault everything that is assaulting the spirit of purity in your life it means to battle until you win the devil in the name of Jesus it means to bear your cross when you bear your cross you bear your reproach in the name of Jesus it means to get into combat to understand this is warfare to fight until you are more than conquerors in Jesus name it means to start to confront there's something you need to contend with this morning can I say begin to contend begin to confront and begin to overcome you know what it is this morning that want to confront your peace and contend with your peace can you begin to contend with it can you begin to confront with it there are three things of nature that God has given to you one is your peace of mind one is your happiness and your freedom whatever is fighting it is your enemy begin now to counter it in Jesus name Cob it begin to defy it declare and declare in Jesus name from now on I am going to submit to God for all that is in me and all that is I have in me I will start to hinder the works of the enemy I will hold him off I will stand against him I persist until I win stand in the name of Jesus now whatever it is that will attack what God has said make up your mind to prevent it the Bible says say, speak, seek peace with all men without which your eyes shall not see God and so you make up your mind I will not quarrel I've made up my mind this season nobody will draw me into malice nobody will draw me into enmity nobody will draw me to quarrel with anybody no matter how hard you try because the Bible says seek peace as much as is in your power when the other party does not want to keep your quarrel but I will never never be a part of it make up your mind that is a pathway to holiness we are not just here to talk it we are not just here to pray it we are here to live it make sure as much as is in your power refuse to quarrel remain firm to walk in peace stand up to whatever is against your peace struggle against it turn it down and withstand it until you win the battle of peace in the name of Jesus Christ and every time you do that guess what the devil will flee if the devil came to bring confusion in your marriage and you said not again the devil will flee 
the devil will flee if the devil comes again to scatter the work scatter the business and you don't cooperate by acting in accordance with the line what many of us don't know is that the devil has created most of his action he knows this person will do this and he knows you will get angry and what he expects is when you are angry he knows how to respond the person has done something that deserves you to actually respond badly but you choose to resist the devil and to submit to God and to seek peace and I tell you sincerely this is the realms of holiness can I hear a man this is what the realms of holiness and I believe God that as we begin to understand in practice this practical point in holiness every single one of us will start to live a life that surely you will know that you have come into the realms of becoming what an overcomer as you make up your mind to come into the realms of holiness what it means is that you are saying I now know my position in Christ can I hear you amen you are saying that I know who the enemy is I know who the enemy is you are saying I'm in a time I will humble myself to God you are saying I'll deal with every sin in my life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray a little more before we get into the word can somebody pray this morning make sure that there's no part of your life in the past in the days of rebellion or disobedience that the enemy can take advantage of to attack you declare today there's no part of my life that shall wither in the name of Jesus Christ tell the enemy no part of my life no part of my destiny shall wither in the name of Jesus pray that prayer declare it in Jesus name pray say no part of my life no part of my destiny shall be taken over or destroyed by the enemy in the name of Jesus pray that prayer say father I receive the grace this morning in Jesus name the enemy of my soul I decree and I declare you shall not succeed no part of my life shall wither in the name of our Lord Jesus pray that prayer no aspect of my life no aspect of my soul shall wither in the name of Jesus Christ so many things have withered in the lives of people their business is withered why the quarrel with their destiny helper not anymore declare I shall not lose ground just about the time of your promotion because of one quarrel one problem or the other you walked away from your destiny you are this close to winning and the devil moves you out declare no power shall hurry me out of the earth no power shall hurry me out of the earth my time is in the hands of God no power shall hurry my family or my loved one out of the earth declare it this morning in Jesus no power no devil no devil resist the devil you will not make me check out before my time I shall fulfill my days in Jesus name pray that prayer no power shall check out my son my daughter my mother my brother my sister my loved ones no powers you are not allowed to check me out from this earth realm I shall fulfill my days in Jesus the man resists the devil no powers will entice me no powers will kill me before my time in the name of Jesus declare I shall fulfill my days in Jesus name we declare from the altar today every evil stranger flee and never appear again the Bible says that yeah that the strangers they shall flee from you declare this morning whatever represents strangers that the devil have been using to harass your life command them to flee in the name of Jesus are they strange children are they strange husbands are they strange powers that monitor you that follow you up and down and they have a plan to destroy your life and destiny I declare from the altar your destiny and your years shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus every wicked device against your life I command that they receive divine judgment in the name of Jesus every cloud of disgrace I command them now in the name of Jesus let them catch fire in the name of Jesus I command every Ahitophel in our destiny Ahitophel in our life every evil counselor those who give us advice contrary to what God's plan is I declare oh God let them be disgraced in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ can we handle this evil altar this morning 
let us handle it we're going to handle it it needs to be dealt with now in jesus name there's someone that came here with a terrible waist pain can you receive your healing in the name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit eternal father in the name of our lord jesus christ as a matter of fact everyone here who has any pain in any part of your body no longer entertain it it has to leave you now you know you need to understand that it's not in the mind of god that the devil should continue to harass you show no more mercy do not entertain it let it end now every manner of harassment coming from any pit of it or from any altar you must arrest it now there are some of us that don't know it will move from leg it will go to there must be somewhere that the devil is harassing you at every point no show no more mercy this is a morning to stop it the time of that demon to stop harassing you has come to an end this morning in the name of jesus the time has come to an end every power harassing your peace harassing your happiness harassing your freedom their end has come in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the reason it has been moving is that you have gotten comfortable with it and you have accepted it as a way of life but let's start with the altar in the name of jesus and so this morning in the name of jesus christ is there any altar that is raised anywhere being supervised by a witch doctor or by a witch or by an occult priest or by an evil man where your name your picture or whatever concern you is being mentioned or called or they have taken it to or they have dropped it at that altar and from that point of contact they use it to release evil or destruction or wickedness against your life hear me this morning the time of that altar is up in the name of jesus christ in the name of our lord jesus christ let me repeat myself again it may not be a well designed altar it may be the altar in the heart of somebody that is forever wishing you evil thinking bad and planning it and speaking it I decree from the altar today in Jesus name the end of that word altar has come in the name of Jesus child of God hear me there's something you need to learn from me today the Bible called us a living stone from the book of Peter's if we are living stone the Bible said we are being put together as what spiritual houses and the devil even knows it but you and I do we know that so many times we are afraid of altars that people build somewhere and there forgetting that we are the major altars we are the living world altars we are the mobile altars those altars are not mobile they work with monitoring gadgets and equipment but i am a living altar i'm a living stone and so are you and so are you do you recognize that because i want you to stop let me just deal with these altars it's very strong in my heart that i want to deal with it because some of us will never be holy and be able to walk into our seasons of holiness until we are able to get to this revelation there are things that must stop certain manipulations that will be dealt with for us to move into our realms of holiness amen oh my time is almost up okay first peter's chapter 1 from verse 4 first Peter chapter 1 from verse 4 it says first Peter from chapter 1 from verse 4 first Peter chapter 1 okay first Peter chapter 1 oh, first the first book of Peter chapter 2 verse 4 is chapter 2 verse 4 chapter 2 verse 4 it says coming to him say coming to him you know i said today is a day to submit to who god and he said how do you come to him he said coming to him as to a living what stone come to him knowing that you are what a living stone yes rejected by 
men but chosen by God and precious eight minutes past seven okay let me just have time there. when it's time let me know so coming to him as a what a living stone rejected by what so every time like now you have come to the house of God know that you are what a living stone you may be rejected indeed by men but know that you are chosen by know that you are chosen by and you are precious can I hear a man know that you are precious amen and God is the one that has chosen you and you are what a living stone verse 5 it says you also as what living stones all of us here now are what we are all what living stones I'm preparing us for the dealing of this altar dealing of what this altar so when I am a living stone and all of us are what living stones all of us here are now what living stone this auditorium you see is a dead stone you know sometimes we regard the altar of the church more than the altar of your heart are you paying attention the altar that we are seeing here is holy it belongs to God but as much as you believe sweep it keep it holy don't climb on it carelessly what of you that you are the living stone and your heart is the altar where God lives ought you not to be more holy than the way you want to keep the altar that is the live that is the dead stone holy is somebody paying attention to me so you also as living stones remember what I want you to take home today is the word submit yourself to God resist the devil and the devil will do what flee I tell you sincerely if that word you catch it you caught something we need to this morning submit ourselves to God unto holy living unto holy life so that it will be easy to do what resist the devil and the devil will do what but this should have been a foundational word I should have started from here so it's not late it's never late to go back so follow me again you also as living what are built up as what spiritual what say to somebody I'm a spiritual house hold your neighbor wherever you are as you are holding each other you are now turning into a spiritual house you are what these people that are holding hands are what and that is why when both of you are in agreement you become a spiritual world and whatsoever two of you touch concerning a matter are you understanding me you have become a spiritual world house at that point you are also what a holy world priesthood you are what a holy world when you are submitted to God as we are standing now you are what a holy priesthood and as this holy priesthood you can address any situation and you get your answers in Jesus name can I hear you amen yeah. declare I'm a holy priesthood and why did he make you a holy priesthood to offer up what spiritual sacrifice what are the spiritual sacrifice your worship your praises you are thanksgiving, you are offering, you are fasting, you are study, you are teaching. They are all what? Spiritual what? Sacrifice. And remember, it has to be acceptable to God through who? Jesus Christ. So it is possible to offer it and it's not acceptable. And that is why it is very important to submit yourself to go through living a life of what holiness and brokenness and that is why we are praying so much but we are getting little what answers because we forget that we are altars if you understand today that you're a living stone so i'm a living stone and when we gather we become living stones we become what spiritual house we become what a holy priesthood let's look at verse six many of us claim this we sing it you know therefore it is also contained in the scripture behold i lay in zion a chief cornerstone and a leg precious and he who believes in him will know by no means be put to what shame and who is that chief cornerstone jesus you know every stone is built by what there's a corner before you make a foundation you put what the corner those pillars are who so any church any building any gathering that jesus is not the what 
that building is faulty fast seven that building is what faulty somebody therefore to you who believe he is precious but to those who are disobedient the stone which the builders rejected have become what the chief cornerstone so we may decide to build everything verse 8 but if jesus is not the corner i worship if jesus is not the corner this meeting if jesus is not the corner you know and that's why i had to boldly say let's come out early let's know if we're serious are you understanding me you can't set up a meeting and people are coming one hour two hours three hours late no if it's not in it there's no need for that verse 9 it's as though everything we do now is to please men no 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 we must have to learn to please god and as a stone of stumbling and a rock of what offense sometimes we don't know this part of god that he can become a stone of what stumbling many have stumbled because they have neglected holiness because they have neglected things that are holy you can't be coming to a holy god and you are casual about it it's better you stop coming if you have to know that god is holy pay the price he's holy he's worth it so those who have neglected holy things remember how men carried the ark and they were careless about it you know the season where god began actually the word i would have shared today was bearing the ark and crossing into jordan that's the prophetic word god gave to me i don't know whether it will still be on because very soon we are going to be carrying the ark crossing the jordan you know it's very critical let me explain something to you do you know that more than six thousand people left left egypt but only two people entered jordan Six thousand people. Can you think about it? Left where Egypt, but only two people did what? Entered Jordan. Oh Jesus Christ! Is somebody paying attention? Do you know that this journey is a journey of remnant? In the days of Noah, only eight people were saved in the ark. Why must we return to holiness? In the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, how many people were left? Why must we return to holiness? He's a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. When we continue living as if there's no God and God's own anger falls on men, I tell you sincerely, very few survive it. The Bible said they stumble being disobedient to the word to which also they were appointed. When the word of God is appointed unto us to fear God, to love him, and we neglect God and we neglect everything that makes him God, we are calling on the stone of stumbling and the rock of what offense now we just talk about the cornerstone as our provider as our lover as our yes he is all that jesus loves us but at the same time he also is what he is also a stumbling why did peter say that peter knows by example because he denied his master three times peter knows what he passed through before he was forgiven many of us are still living our life carelessly but after peter's experience peter now understood that god is holy you don't talk carelessly you know there was something peter was saying that i found very very intricate when he was addressing them he said as was written by paul according to the revelations that he received why because as at that point when peter began to read you know peter began to study the book of paul and began to give examples of the things paul said you know paul was the author that began to tell us about you know there were certain deep deep things that paul was talking about what i just feel that before you leave here is in the mind of god to every single one of us here today that god returns us to holiness in the name of jesus christ in the name of our lord jesus christ there's so much here to share let me just leave it so that i can get into the prayer of dealing with this altar i want to do so he knew peter understood that there are many adversaries are you understanding me and he also understood that paul was able to deal with them because of his revelation and he was now bringing the church to align with the teaching of paul but do you remember that when paul was an apostle he and peter never quite agreed peter was still into some kind of hypocrisy when he sees these people he will do this when he goes out he does another thing but after he had denied his maker that means there were still some things in his heart that he had not first dealt with peter now began to tell us this jesus is a stone of what stumbling and a rock of what offense now be up on your feet so when we go to pray to deal with evil altars make sure that you yourself have taken your position as a holy person incidentally when a church where people just come in and be scattering the altars dealing with the devil when their life is not pure instead of their problem to get better it's getting worse 
Is somebody communicating with what I'm saying? You are fighting the devil and you are carrying his equipment. He'll just be laughing at you because he will never bow. He gave us authority, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. The authority he gave to us is to cut down, to pull down, and to destroy. He said, see, I have this day set you over nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and plant. As I stand today, the authority that is given to us is over nations and kingdoms. Whether it is marine kingdom, whether it's occult kingdom, whether it is kingdom in the heavens, the moon, and the star. We stand today over nations. Whether they went to India, to go and do what they did we have been given authority and we have been set over what nations to do what to root out to do what to root what out to do what to pull down to do what to destroy to do what to throw down to do what to build and the plant and that's what we stand for this morning to do in Jesus name every evil altar harassing your life I decree that the end of that altar has come. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for angelic support. I declare today, every evil altar harassing your life, the end of that altar has come in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, child of God, you can see yourself set over the nations. It doesn't matter how many nations have ganged up. It doesn't matter the kingdoms that have been ganging up against you. I pray this morning you can see yourself set over the nations and set over the kingdoms in Jesus' name. Are you ready to root it out? Are you ready to pull it down? Are you ready to destroy it and throw it down in the name of Jesus Christ and to plant what you want? Hear me, child of God. If you have this understanding, then you can address evil altars. Then you can address evil foundations. I pray for the revelation to come back to you so you will not keep crying for the enemy, for the planting of the enemy in your life. They can plant it as cancer in the breast. They can plant it as what? Accident in the car. They can plant it as fire in somewhere. They can plant it as what? As They can plant it as a plan to take you out of the office. They can plant it as what? As a demotion. It doesn't matter how they planted it. They can plant it. It's not only um, um, charms that they plant. They plant charms so that the charms can be a point of contact to remove evil. Whether they plant it, now it is a weapon. Whether is biological weapon emotional weapon psychological weapon understand that god has given you power to deal with the physical weapon and the bible says in jesus name that no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper why because he knows he has given you authority and you have been sent over this weapon to pull them down but when you fail to bind these weapons when you fail to lose them and to release them when you receive it and you are afraid of it then they can function but you as a child of God this is the morning that you understand that this weapon shall not prosper in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the Bible even went for that to say that every tongue that rises in judgment against you that tongue is what condemned that is to say that you also have authority that whoever is the priesthood or the priestess that is conjuring evil or releasing pronouncement from an evil altar that you have the power and authority to do what to condemn that tongue in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ will you not now condemn every tongue of every priesthood who is releasing any cause releasing any evil over your life and destiny over an altar today in Jesus name pray this prayer decree and declare right now in Jesus name every evil priesthood raised in the heavenlies on the earth beneath the earth or voice from any blood or sacrifice speaking over my life and destiny to scatter it I condemn you today in the name of Jesus I silence you in the name of Jesus pray this prayer decree and declare today every evil bed that has been released every evil gadgets monitoring gadgets animals that have been set out and against my life and destiny to monitor me monitor my business my family and my household and to release evil from any evil altar I silence you I command you to crash land in the name of Jesus Christ I command you to catch fire I command the end of your activities today in the name of Jesus end those activities this morning 
morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost, child of God. As you have this understanding right now, I believe you are now coming up as a living stone. You are coming up as a living stone. As a living stone, you begin to come up when your spirit and inner man begin to connect and you understand what you are doing and how you are praying. Hallelujah. Somebody in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's keep building up our prayer power now what you know is that let's take the word of god in the book of matthew chapter 3 verse 10 why do you know that your prayers are answered matthew chapter 3 verse 10 now you know it says even now the axe is laid on the root of the tree therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire this is the legal grounds and authority you have there is already an axe it is what as we are speaking there's already an axe on that evil altar the axe is on it and what trees are there that must go down in my life any tree in my life now that is not bearing good words if you are in my father's house if you are in the life of my children if you are in my ministry or my calling i have already placed the axe why do i say that let's look at jeremiah chapter 51 from verse 17 why do i say that yes because god has given me authority to stand Okay, let's start from verse 18. Let's go fast. Let's, let's go fast. It says, There are futile works, a work of error in the time of their punishment, they shall what perish. Let's go back. Let's go to that verse 17. Let's go through. Let's go through. I'm just going to take a little time to just rush through this warfare school. Okay, it says, Everyone is not harder without knowledge. Every, me every metal smith is put to shame by the carved image, for his molded image is falsehood, and there's no breath in them. Always have this in mind. There's no what? Breath in them. When you have this mind, you will no longer fear evil what? Altars. Verse 19. You are the one that gives life by your words. When you speak that this man wants to kill you, you have given him the power and authority because you believe he can kill you otherwise those things don't have power okay jeremiah let's start from verse 18 and he says jeremiah 51 from verse 18 he says they are what futile that what a work of error in the time of their punishment they shall what perish every imagination of altars set against their what futile if you don't give it what a time of their judgment they shall what perish now the portion of jacob is not like that for he is the maker of all things and israel is the tribe of his inheritance the lord of hosts is his what that's not your portion verse 19 he says you are my part to us he now goes to say i am what so when god says that the axe is already where at the root of the god is not telling you who that axe is i am the axe i'm what all their altars are futile all their altars are meant for judgment the bible says, on the day of judgment those altars shall do what perish and today is a day of that judgment you see what is important is the revelation that you catch in the name of jesus when you catch it you know what you are saying so when next you stand up and you stand up as god's battle acts are you understanding me let's go back again and add something to it matthew chapter 15 verse 13 let's go back and add something like that i said earlier to you let's go to matthew chapter 15 verse 13 i said earlier to you that every tree that my heavenly father has no what every tree that does not bear good fruit must what must be what cut off so what are those things that must be cut off he said and he answered and said to them every plant which my heavenly father has not planted must be what uprooted every tree my heavenly father has not planted must be what what are the things that you need to deal with this morning let me put it together again as we are standing here today any altar that god has not planted in your life must be what uprooted in jesus name can i hear your amen somebody every altar that god has not planted in your life must be what uprooted somebody in jesus name let's take back again matthew chapter 3 verse 10 is somebody getting ready to deal with wickedness matthew chapter 3 verse 10 says follow me somebody matthew chapter 3 verse 10 says even now now you understand the axe is laid what on the tree therefore every tree which does not what bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire join two of them every tree somebody declare every tree that my heavenly father has not planted and does not bear good fruits i declare in the name of jesus 
Are you getting ready for prayer now? Two trees must not be allowed to grow in your life. If the God plan sickness, the God plan failure, the God plan setback, the God plan wickedness, the God plan accident, the God plan death. No. So I disallow it. Somebody say I disallow it. Say I disallow it. Child of God, I prophesy over your mind this morning in Jesus' name. Going forward from today, disallow it in the name of Jesus. The God plan sin, the God plan immorality, the God plan loss. He did not plan lawlessness. I disallow it in the name of Jesus somebody pray that prayer this morning I disallow it in Jesus name I disallow it lawlessness I disallow it sin I disallow it in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah somebody I disallow it somebody did you disallow it hallelujah somebody pray that prayer I dis what allow it in the name of Jesus I disallow it now you have come up to this level of knowledge hallelujah somebody let's put the prayer again together okay let's go back to the book of jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 then when i put it all together we will not deal with that altar once and we're going to deal with the altar you come out with your full knowledge this morning make sure you're already submitted to god that's why you see some small boys they just wake up and they just learn one or two things they think ah, i'm anointed now they go to the village and then the girls are destroying evil altars after that trouble starts because they have not submitted to god and they don't have a revelation is somebody there but their revelation if you have it there is no evil altar that you cannot withstand hey somebody is somebody there you know a lot of white people came some of them just came brought education brought school and they began to break evil what and many of them died and they said it's uh, malaria they say it's what all of them is not mosquito bites some of them yes they came but they had appetite to take our money some of them came for exploration are you understanding me they just came to convert africa and collect money from africa and then make them slaves but one thing they did not know is that the gods of africa also are spirits is somebody there is somebody there so witness you are going to an altar know that there's a deity because there are people who have served it they have evil priesthood that have given them power they have evil priesthood that sacrificed them they have evil spirits that shed blood on those their altars so before you go to an evil altar make sure that you yourself that you have the blood of jesus and you are staying under the cross that the blood of jesus has been shed upon your life colossians 1 20 said by the blood all things are what reconciled colossians 1 14 and through the blood every evil handwriting has been what removed in the name of jesus when you stand as a priest of god you stand because you understand that jesus said in the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 6 and revelation 5 10 he has made you a priest and a king and you understand now from the word of god from the book of what first peter's chapter 2 from verse 4 you are made into a what a spiritual stone so when i stand as a priest i know i stand because god has made me what a living stone and we stand as the living stones and god has given us authority to do what to offer spiritual sacrifice holy and acceptable unto to God if I am submitted to God there is no sacrifice I offer including sacrifice of pulling down altars God cannot honor my voice this morning in Jesus name I believe God is raising here an army of his battle acts. I believe God is raising men and women that cannot be easily destroyed or intimidated again in the realm of the spirit in Jesus name. I believe God this morning is baptizing people that begin to wage war in realms of darkness and begin to win because there is no darkness in him because in him there is no darkness. People who are committed to serve God in truth and in spirit where the light of God shines in them and the enemy will no longer defeat them. Where are they? They are they here this morning? Thank you Jesus. People who are ready to consecrate their life to holiness consecrate their life to righteous living consecrate their life to trusting jehovah god as their god where are they not just preach it not just dress it but live it by obedience to the word of god where are they thank you jesus i am your battle axe 
Position yourself. Position yourself. Position yourself to start winning your battles in the place of prayer. Position yourself to start advancing from today to rents of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Position yourself to start winning that marine battle. No more harassment. No more harassment from the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. The power is resting on you, child of God, right now. Receive the anointing to win your battle in Jesus' name. The atmosphere is already changing. The atmosphere is already changing and I trust God this morning in Jesus' name. I trust God for you this morning in Jesus' name. I see angels of war and I see God by revelation positioning you to receive. You are battle axe you are sword you are weapon you are javelin you are getting equipped right now as you receive the word and the revelation to start within your battles in jesus name now in jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 i know many of you are already fighting i know many of you are already deciding let's finish jeremiah 51 verse 20 let's look at that he said we are my battle axe and weapons of war for which you i will break the nations what in pieces Jeremiah 1 10 said, I have set you over nations. And then Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20 tells you, Are you following me? I will break nations into what? Pieces. So let nobody intimidate you with where I'm here. He said, Nations, I will break the nation into what? With you, I will destroy what? Kingdom. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10 said, I've set you over nation and over what? Kingdom. And now he's telling you what he will do with you. Matthew 3 10 says that I have sent you if it's unprofitable and he did not plant it. Any nation or any kingdom that he has not planted, what must you do? Break the nation into pieces and destroy what? The kingdom. Verse 21. That's your legal rights. Why are you destroying things here? Why are you destroying? Do you know that most of these altars, you don't need to go there to destroy it? You can destroy it from here. And you don't go to those altars direct until you have dealt with it from here. It is here you will destroy it. Then when you go there, there's nothing in it. You can gather it and burn it. But you see people, they'll just go to a live altar and start packing things that they don't understand and say they're destroying it. And after, generation after generation, the family is having what? problem because somebody acted out of zeal and not knowledge the bible said my people are what they are perishing out of what ignorance child of god you cannot be ignorant anymore it's the words that break altar the whole earth you see and heavens the new heaven and earth were created by what words use your word and do what when you are done the physical ones are useless you can set them ablaze because there will be no more power in it if you are following me wave your hand thank you now you are ready he said with you i'll break i'll break in pieces the horses and it's what you know this represents like when pharaoh and his horses we are chasing the children of who israel that's why with word you don't know where their horses and their riders are but with you god is giving you power in your mouth even when they are escaping israel do not escape out of egypt because they could walk imagine those small small children thousands of them people trying to cross the trying to cross are you understanding me how far can they run from a man carrying horses and chariots but the bible said that he caused their wills to do what they were sluggish the wills of who Pharaoh. they were inside the water god had opened the way for his people to escape eh? the enemy think he can follow them no way they were moving with all their horses and chariots, but they were what sluggish. God allowed them to enter the center of the world so that he will do what cover it. I prophesy to somebody under the sound of my voice. Their army may be a 10,000. Their weapon may be greater. Their forces may be stronger. You may look at them physically. But I'm here to tell you this morning in Jesus' name. By the unction of the Holy Ghost, God has commanded you through your mouth to release the word that will break in pieces their horses. That will break in pieces their rider. Which you are breaking pieces their chariots. Which you are breaking pieces their rider. So that 
that you will never be intimidated by their numbers you will never be intimidated by their army you will never be intimidated by their civilization because you know that the authority that has been given to you is to break down their evil technology and their evil machineries in the name of Jesus somebody put a prayer there say father today in the name of Jesus give me a revelation to be able to stand against evil imagination evil dictates evil programming of the enemy whether they are using computer gadgets whatever are their infrastructures I receive the power and I have by anointing and revelation that I have the grace and the glory to destroy them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen that's okay I just need you to understand that no matter how they fly how they operate you have the authority to yes so next time you see a pigeon instead of you to be afraid a bird is following me up and down uh, this cat is moving I saw this rat no you have the authority to break in pieces whatever are their communication and transportation what system this scripture gives you power to destroy the satanic communication system can I hear your amen now let's look at verse 22 so when you are dressing the enemy or you are going on slot you know that this is what God has given you say with you are breaking pieces man and what man and what and with you are breaking pieces old and young man and woman old and young with you are breaking pieces the young man and what the maiden that tells us that God has given you the authority whether it's that old woman in the village or that old man that will never give up God has given you authority to break them into pieces whether you are dealing with um, maiden that is mommy water maiden you know yesterday God opened my eyes and took me into the marine and I was seeing that mighty ocean and God said daughter don't you know they will be powers houses living there I said show me he said I'll show you he said just a human being just the air you see demons moving everywhere do you think that I can do this whole kingdom and there will not be people there no there's a kingdom inside water I said show me he said if I open your eyes you see them more but what I need to give you so that you'll catch it is that see the man mighty water see the different fish see the whales they have a kingdom they have their own life and they have spirits that live inside those fishes and they manifest themselves and their operation through those world fishes and then when the fishes are moving and they manifest their kingdom through those fishes now understand that through the manifestation through those fishes I am now the one that is opening your eyes to understand that the life that is inside the water that different kind of animals and they all manifest through what the spirit that lives in through them that is how their kingdoms are and some people go there and they'll say give us part of that power in the water then they add a human being to the power in the fish and that's why when they want to do mommy water they put a human face and then they'll add fish because they have not been what a contract between fish and human being to serve the water serve the fish borrow the water from the aquatic world borrow the power from the kingdom of what mommy water so there's now a combination of a human being who is a priestess in the water working with the fish that they have borrowed the water to draw part of the water that is part of the power that is where in the water spirit so you see that human being is a realm somebody say is what a realm is there mommy water yes is there the spirit yes how do they operate human being went there and came to serve it and sit in the water I can go on and on same as the moon the sun and the star some look at the moon the sun and the star borrow their power join human being to it sit and they worship it and then they join the power from there to the power of a human being so you see human beings that was why God came down in the book of Genesis chapter 6 from verse 1 to 6 man okay was you know the powers the spirit they said left heaven and they came and they began to do what intermingle with human beings and they give, begin to give birth to what giants so what you see there are anti-human beings they are not normal human beings and so they join with spirits and join with forces whether in the air whether beneath the earth whether in the heavenlies and you have queen of heaven you have queen of course you have all these things they are not human they are not what they are semi-human mixed with what animal by virtue of what communication because the bible said that the one you join yourself with is one word spirit and that's why child of god be careful before water is taken from somewhere and poured on you before you come and carry stone you don't know and place into your life these things have opened people to communication and contact with spirit from the outer world and then you are not a human being and these are the altars as a child of god you must understand that you must be a pure human being 
a true child of God, walking in purity, righteousness, and holiness to break them. Because you don't have the power in your natural self as a person to break those altars. Because those powers and those altars are not supernatural. But a true child of God, baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, is the one who can deal with them, who doesn't have any nature of the devil. Therefore, Jesus said, I know that the evil one comes, but he has no power over me. I declare and prophesy to somebody under the sound of my voice, you shall walk in holiness, you shall walk in purity, you shall submit to God, complete and total. Men have submitted to these idols and they have joined power to be stronger. It's only when you are joined with the living God and you are standing in the power of the living God can you have power to break this altar. Pray after me and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I understand today that to destroy the power from the waters, power from the heavens, powers from the hills and the mountains, I must submit to you. Help me to live holy. Help me to live submitted to you that I will be able to overcome these negative powers and these altars and these spirits that have joined to these evil altars. So I will be able to stand and overcome them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe God for somebody to do under the sound of my voice that you are receiving the deliverance of your life right now even by the word of the revelation so you know that living holy walking in purity submitting to god resisting to the devil is all in accordance with the realm the revelation that you have submitted your life so that you can walk with god in wholeness walk with god in love walk in god in the fear of god and you begin to win your battles in the name of jesus christ amen what only you can do Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down to worship you. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, come and do what only you can do. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah, we bow down to worship you. Mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, come and do what only you can do. Garment changing now to garments of warfare, and I see blood. I see blood. I see blood. Garments of blood. People who are already winning their battles. People who are already entering their places of deliverance this morning in Jesus' name. I see people who are separating from living this carnality, living this worldliness. People who, without effort, are stepping into realms of glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see people just walking into their destiny, walking into definition of who they are. Many of us are called as priests in our Father's house, priests over kingdoms, priests over church priest over uh, uh, de uh, definite assignment but we just began to live our life as though we didn't have a purpose now we thank god for definition and purpose in jesus name we thank god for definition and purpose in jesus name jeremiah 51 from verse 53 uh, jeremiah 51 from verse 23 let's just go quickly so that we can just get into this quick prayer he said with you i'll break in pieces the shepherd and his flock with you that means if there's an occultic shepherd you have the power to break that flock you can scatter the church that is occultic with prayers you don't need to go there if you see some imagination, some people who are doing more than you can break it with you. If there's somebody gathering a flock of evil, you can scatter them. If you have that, you can scatter it with you. I can scatter. You see, the revelation you catch is what gives you victory. He said, instead of you to keep struggling, this one scattering, this one doing this, this, I have this nervous one. Why not you break it? With you are breaking pieces, the farmer and his what? Yoke of oxen. There's somebody planting evil things, evil farmers. The Bible says, as men slept, the enemy came and did what planted it. Are there evil farmers that are planting things in your family? Those who are planting this cause, making sure that there's no peace in your family. You have have the right to spoil the evil farmers in your family which you are breaking pieces governors and rulers are there evil governors and rulers in your father's house in your business those 
are rulers, you are in position, but they have taken over your place. With you, God says, I will break down evil governors and evil what rulers. Verse 24. Is somebody understanding that you've been given power that has no limit? God has brought you into a jurisdiction that you cannot but say, I have all this that I need. Okay? And I'll repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chadia for all the evil they have done in Zion. In your sight, says the Lord. God wants to in your sight to repay what? Babylon. For all the evil they have done in Zion. Hear me, child of God, you are Zion. The Bible said on Mount in Zion, there shall be deliverance and the people shall do what? Possess all their possession. But he said, I will repay Babylon and all inhabitants they have done in Chaldea. For all the evil they have done in Zion, in your sight in the name of Jesus. So, it's in the mind of God as we are standing right before your eyes. God wants to repay all the Babylonian altars, all imagination to stop and to destroy your destiny. Are you ready? Hallelujah, somebody. In Jesus' name, can you now stand? Let's deal with these altars now. Ah, Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, how do I start this battle now? Look at yourself with all the scriptures you've gotten. Where's the first scripture? Ordination. God said, before I formed you, I know you. That's what he told Jeremiah. So you that is standing here, start with, I know that I've been appointed. I've been what? And I know myself. What is my assignment? God said, go cast out spirits, okay? Heal the sick. That's a great commission. It starts with knowledge that I am. Say that I am. I'm a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know that what you are doing is what you have been empowered to do. Hallelujah. Somebody in Jesus' name. Therefore, declare. say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as God's battle axe, and as God's weapon of war, as God's battle axe, and as his weapon of war, I stand today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to your word, in Matthew chapter 3 verse 10, and Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, your word says, whatever is unprofitable and whatever you have not planted, you have given me the authority to root it down and to cut it down and to pull it out and to burn it and to destroy it therefore today in the name of our lord jesus i address every evil planting every wicked seed every evil planter that has planted evil and wickedness as evil altars in my father's house every evil planting that has been planted in my dream I declare in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every evil planting that has been planted while I slept every evil planting that have been planted in my school in my academics every evil planting that has been planted in the ministry planted in my business planted in my shop planted where I work every evil planting planted among my brethren or in my family every evil planting planted against my husband planted against my children every evil planting that the devil has planted in my family planted in my compound planted in the moon the sun and the star planted in the rocks today in the name of jesus any planting that is not of god any planting that is unprofitable i declare and declare today in the name of jesus your time is what up in the name of jesus your time is what up in the name of jesus because i have come to see and i know it has been set before my eyes today and i have caught the revelation and i know that light and darkness cannot dwell together i am the light and those plantings are what darkness therefore light must overcome darkness i arise in light today and i declare every darkness that i have suffered every darkness that is disturbing me every darkness the ignorance is darkness you are over in the name of jesus and by authority i address now every active altar every active altar where my name and my picture has been taken where my name is being mentioned and evil is being spoken concerning my destiny every altar that has been arranged to stop my life to cut my destiny and to destroy me i declare your end has come in the name of our lord jesus christ i release the chariots from on high i come 
in battle in the name of Jesus Christ with the angels of God to address all the evil planting, whether it's sickness, delay, accident, or death. I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ and I command you, you must be rooted out. Now start to come out. Now root it out. Root it out. I root you out. I root you out. I pull you out. I pull you out. I root you out. I begin to root it out. Is it planted in your mind so that you will never learn? You will never have knowledge. You will never understand and never progress. Some of us, this is our problem. We don't know why we start things and they fail. In the name of Jesus, you don't want me to learn today. I root out the spirits and the foundation of ignorance in my life. Come out and die. Come out and die in Jesus' name. As you come out, I set you ablaze and I scatter you. Root it out. Begin to mention them. You know the satanic planting that is presently oppressing you, oppressing your loved ones. Begin to call the names of the members of your family one by one. Root out. Root out. Every evil altar, every evil planting. Are there physical altars with a priest that is harvesting them? Are there a physical altar with a priest that is servicing them? Are there evil planting that is sickness in the body? Are there evil altars that are moving around in your house? Are there evil altars that are planted in Revival City? Are there evil altars planted in the body of Christ? Are there evil altars planted in the church? Are there evil altars planted with the governance that will not allow men to do what they are supposed to do? Call your family member, you know their specific problem. Begin to root out their problem, root out their situation, root out their circumstance in the name of Jesus as you do it. Do it with authority. With you, O oh God. God said, I've anointed you. Root it out. Is it in old man? Is it in old woman? Root it out. As long as God has not planted it, it is not profitable. Yes, there's a fire that is released in your hand. There's authority and power. Root it out. Root it out. Are there ancient trees? Are there problems that have existed for generations unto generations? Root it out. Root it out. Root it out. I pull it out. Now come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out with your roots in the name of Jesus. Come out with your roots in the name of Jesus. Root it out. Root it out. Are there powers that have been assigned to limit my destiny are there powers that have been set over my heavens and they've been assigned that I can never travel beyond Nigeria are there powers that are set on embassy every time I go my visa shall be what? truncated are there powers that say my voice shall not be heard I declare and declare it's a lie from the pit of hell my voice shall be heard in the name of Jesus I declare and declare in the name of Jesus every altar that say I cannot grow today I call down those altars in Jesus name altars that are following you altars that are moving with you others that will not allow you to fly high others that are in the air i deal with the air space right now in jesus name others that will not allow you to have speed you will rise and they'll go there disconnected they'll give you a wrong date in your passport they will steal your passport they will stand there before the visa uh, person and then they look at you they disfavor altars of disfavor altars of confusion altars that twist your identity altars of accusation altars that carry slander pull them down root them down in the name of Jesus, altars that waste money as we are about to rise, your money will get to 100,000, it will crash down. You can never have more than $100. Altars of poverty, root them down in the name of Jesus. Altars of sickness, every money that comes goes with sickness, root them down in the name of Jesus. Altars that bring malice, you don't know why, but you are quarreling with everybody, root them down in Jesus' name. Altars of bitterness, altars of unforgiveness that service them, root them down in the name of Jesus. Altars of setback, Others that will not allow progress. Others that are rising against your purity. Rising against holiness. Root them down in Jesus' name. Others of iniquity. Others that are behind masturbation. Others that bring about um, pornography. Others that bring about infidelity. Others that bring about gluttony. Root them down in the name of Jesus. Others that are said that you will drink. Others of alcoholism. Others of drugs. Others that are addiction. All manners of addiction have others that are them root them down in the name of Jesus root them down in the name of Jesus we pull you out we root you down in the name of Jesus and the Bible say you cut them down cut it 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 cut them in the name of Jesus are there physical altars with satanic priests with satanic priestess where they offer and they pour all manners of sacrifices today with your picture on that altar now pull down that altar pull down the altar pull down the altar are there altars in churches that are satanic in nature where your name is being mentioned? Call that altar to an end. Call that altar to order. Call the priesthood of that altar to an order in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we root out that altar. 
that in the name of Jesus is there somebody that has taken something that belongs to you to an altar so that from there they can control your life no their end has come put an end to that altar pull them out pull them out cut down that altar cut down that altar cut down that altar in Jesus name sin and unseen altars in sin and unseen realm that I may not remember now I just want to add there altars that set you back academically pull it down altars that say nobody in this family shall be a graduate pull it down in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost every anti-progress altar every altar that limits good we pull you down in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost we command the sin and unseen altar as long as this altar is opposing our destiny we command it catch 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 fire in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost we command all the wicked altars seen and unseen known and unknown that is attacking our life oppressing our destiny as long as we now know how to deal with you we declare your end has come you will never again have an upper hand over our life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we put an end to your harassment in Jesus name now put your hand on your head plan good health plan sound mind plan peace plan progress decree and declare in jesus name because emptiness is not allowed from where these altars were driven away i decree and declare today the fullness of god's goodness over your life in the name of jesus i speak expansion right now in the name of jesus christ i command the assisting of lifting it has come in the name of our lord jesus christ i prophesy and decree and declare from now in the name of our lord jesus we have begun to rise and never to go down again in the name of jesus i command blessings over you your family and your household in the name of god the father son and the holy spirit in the name of jesus